Hi, my name's Kevin. My name's Ryan. I'm Olivia. And we're going to show you how to make coasters today. Booyah. You see that? Alright. YOLO. So you always start off by making clean measurements. Today we're going to make each of our measurements a quarter inch. As you already see, the beautiful camera lady has done that for us. So now we're going to move ourselves over to the miter saw. Hi, I'm back at the miter saw with our block of wood. And I'm going to firmly place the wood on the saw and measure my cut to make sure I'm going to cut in the right line. Line it up, and I'm good to go. Next thing I'm going to do is tighten the wood and put it firmly against the fence. Now I'm going to start it up, put my hand on the safety button, drag it back if I can. Make sure your hand is always four inches away from the blade. Start it up. Make sure the saw is at a complete stop before you lift it up. Here is your finished product. So we're at the drill press right now, and we already measured our coasters, and this is the pilot reel. Make sure everything is adjusted right and it's tight enough. And I'm going to cut the hole deep enough, but not too deep. It's going to be down all the way, but not at the end. Now it's gone. Hi, I'm Ryan Markham, and the last thing we have to do with our project is hand sand. Now, the biggest thing you need to do is always sand with the grain, because if you don't, it's going to look all jacked up. Alright? So we start off smooth, like this. Start turning the wood so you can hit all spots on the outside. And once you've done the top, you're going to flip and continue to work towards the bottom. See? Smooth. When you're finished sanding, hand sanding with the grain and everything, you go in and either put vegetable oil or stain on. And this would be your finished project. And this would have, what it would be after you're done. It's the difference. No vegetable oil, vegetable oil. This is your finished project.